everybody. Hello, 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 hello. Hope everybody's doing okay. I guess we can sit in queue so we have a little bit of a bigger face. Um, let's see, let's get this started. So today we will be playing some Secret of Shadow Ranch. Um, yesterday, around this time, I streamed the first part of it. Let me turn that down a little bit. Turn that down a lot of it, actually. Yesterday I streamed the first part of it. Um, we got pretty far into the game. So, I'll go ahead and get that started up. I'm sure it'll all automatically populate. There we go, there we go. Rid of this. Pop. Pop. Boop. Boop. Alrighty. So we are into it. Um, like I said yesterday, we started and got through the first two days, I believe. Um. We made a pie or a cake for Tex on his birthday. We went um, and filled out some pi pictoglyphs, I think is what it was called. Pictoglyphs um, for one of the puzzles that the outlaw guy left for us. What was his name? We got notes. We have notes for everything right here. Um. Dirk Valentine. We did that little puzzle for the one that he left for his lover. And, um, that's mainly it. I mean, we did some horseback riding. Hold on, I gotta change one more thing. Ew, get that off. We don't need any little light conversation here. I don't know why my camera does that automatically all the time. Okay, uh, let's just get into it, I guess. Get back into it. I think I remember um, I, I had to make a lot of phone calls, and I was like, I will leave that for tomorrow. So, let's see. I'm positive I saw Mariazzi. Yeah, that happened. We saw her on the property, but she denied it. Um, I already did that for the Lariat. We made the cake. Tex's birthday. Tex got mad about his sister. And, uh, yeah. So let's go ahead and get these phone calls out of the way. Let's call Bess and George, see what they're up to. Hello? Where are you guys? You've got to get out here. I saw the Phantom Horse last night. You know what we saw last night? The inside of a motel room in St. Louis. In St. Louis. Louis? Our plane finally took off at 7 last night. We didn't call you because we wanted to surprise you. Only the next thing we knew, we were being diverted to St. Louis on account Is it of called bad weather. Louis? So the airline put us up at a motel. I thought it was St. Louis. Came back to the airport this morning, guess what? You're fogged in and your plane's got more mechanical problems. We're fogged in. I have never seen fog this thick. Visibility three feet. Hey, we were close. You can barely drive in the stuff, let alone land and take off. Let's change the subject. Let's change so the you subject. Saw the horse? Last night, right after the campfire, this glowing horse appeared out of nowhere, then went galloping away. And right after that, the main pipe in the pump house sprang a leak. Another case of bad luck? I think not. So while everyone oh, wow, well, we got a lot horse, someone sabotaged to talk the pump about. house. First the rattlesnake, now this. Yikes. Has either of you two ever read anything by an author named Charlena Purcell? Charlena. She writes romance novels that take place in the Old West. That rules me out. I saw her on a talk show once. Seemed kind of full of herself. Why do you ask? I had to call her in order to open this old trunk at Mary Yazzie's. She knows a lot about the people who used to live call at Shadow Ranch. I bet I know more about 19th century clothing design than she does. I know that's right. I found a half-burned note that had a bunch of gibberish on it in the fire pit. 
gibberish? You mean, like a code? That could be why someone tried to burn it, so no one else at the ranch would ever know what it said. Maybe it was about the sabotage. <laughs> Y'all are really putting it together. That's just what I was thinking. So just find a way to decode that message, and you'll be all set. <laughs> so just fucking solve it. Just fucking solve it and read it, girl. I found a locket that belonged to Francis Humber. It had a picture in it with the words green bottle under written on the back. Maybe the bottle's a clue to where Valentine's loot is hidden. <laughs> I doubt it. If Francis never saw that letter from Dirk that her father intercepted, she couldn't have found the treasure, which means she couldn't have left a clue as to its whereabouts in that locket. Well, that green bottle obviously meant something to her. I think you should find it first and ask questions later. The message those petroglyphs spelled out is pretty weird. Got any hints? Seems to me you have to find out where Cappy's is, then find out where his keys are, and then find out who this Pappy person is. Mm -hmm. No problem. As long as you're psychic. Sounds to me like another phone call to a certain best-selling author is in order. That's it for now. Cappy. Stay in touch. That's an order. Pappy. Keys. I feel like I need to write that down. <laughs> Alright, Miss Charlena, what are you up to? Talk to us. Charlena Purcell's office. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. Say no more. Say no more. Hello, Nancy. What's the latest? I came across a reference to someone whom Dirk referred to as Pappy. Probably his father, Kashmir Valentine. Mm. He was a blacksmith over in Prescott. Would Francis have known who he was? Oh, yes. Dirk worshipped his father. Which is ironic, because by the time Dirk was arrested, his father had pretty much disowned him out of shame. Cashmere Valentine. Talk to you soon. Look forward to it. Well, we found the pappy. Now we must get the cappy and the keys. I don't want to call Frank and Joe. I really don't. SWGO survey? Oh, that's, um, we, we investigated Shorty's, or snooped we didn't investigate we poked through fucking shorty stuff and he had uh a map of geo locations like uh mineral deposits in the area so i guess we can SWGS, get them a call this is Geza. Geza. hi my name is nancy drew not too long ago you provided this person i know with a map that showed the locations of mineral deposits in central arizona that's what i'm here for is it unusual for an ordinary citizen to request a map like that? Depends on which map it was. The number on it was PUB893A. Publication 893 Alpha. Let me get it on my screen here. <laughs> Why is he talking yeah, that's like a that? Map somebody use if they wanted to go prospecting in their spare time. What's this person's name? Uh, Shorty Thurman? Shorty Thurman. Yep, I feel like they wouldn't According give this much notes, information out. He just out. started a job in the Shadow Mountain area and figured he'd go looking for gold on his off hours. You keep notes on all the calls you get? In a bureaucracy like this one, you never know. When something goes south and fingers start pointing, it's always good to have your side of the story all nice and documented. How likely do you think it is that Shorty will find any gold around Shadow Mountain? Oh, he might find a nugget or two, but from the looks Shadow of the maps Mountain. I sent him... Any ore out there would be of such low quality that attempting to extract gold from it would be pointless. That's interesting. That's what interesting. Is? Apparently this shorty person asked me if I knew anything about Dirk Valentine's treasure. Really? Do you remember what he said? Ooh. As I recall, he'd heard a rumor that some outlaw had buried some kind of treasure near Shadow Mountain. Shorty he thought it might be in an old mine shaft or something. About... And what did you tell him? Nothing. I didn't know anything about it. Well, thank you, Geza. No problem. Treasure. What did you say your name was again? Nancy... Drew. Nancy Drew. Asked a lot of questions. Didn't buy any maps. <laughs> that she really appreciated your taking the time to talk to her. <laughs> Be sure to put that in your notes too, okay? Got it. Goodbye, Miss Drew. Oh, what a cute Bye. little conversation. He was nice. He was so nice. I think that's enough calling for right now. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. So, Shorty. Miss Nancy, how may I be uh, of service? Usually well, she's... I'd better get going. Pleasure talking to you. Instantly trying to call somebody out, call somebody out as soon as she finds someone out. Where is, um, Dave? 
Where has he been? Green bottle under. I better not go in there until I call the sheriff. I do need to call him and be like, hey, can I, uh, can I look in here, please? If I say pretty, please. Hernandez. Hello, Sheriff. It's Nancy Hernandez. Drew again. Hello, Nancy. What can I do for you? Would it be all right if I looked around in the pump house? Sure. I'm all done in there. Should I have my deputy take that sign down? Mind my asking why you want to look around? Wait a minute. Dave told me about you. You're the girl detective. Amateur detective. I don't know. Amateur Dave seemed to be detective. real impressed with you. In more ways than one, I might add. Thanks for your help. Anytime. Whoa, Dave. We have a boyfriend back home, Dave. Oh, wow. It's really wet in here. It's really ransacked in here. Hey, what's that? Hey, what is that? Where are we going? Dave? What the fuck? Well, where did you come from? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to sneak up on you, what but... What the fuck? What are you doing? Well, see, I just... I mean... Why is he so loud? I'm looking for Dirk Valentine's treasure. Then you lied before when you said you didn't know who Dirk Valentine was. Dave. Yes, ma'am. See, my great aunt Knows. Ellie was Frances Humber's cousin. When she oh, died, treasure. she left me a bunch of stuff, including an old letter she'd gotten from Frances. In the letter, Frances said that Valentine had hidden a bunch of loot somewhere and wanted Frances to find it by following the clues he left for Everybody her. Frances was real smart, treasure. see? Loved puzzles. Played the piano pretty good, too. Do anyway, to turn on the after game Valentine audio? met his end, Frances like was too brokenhearted to care about some treasure. She told Aunt Ellie that if she could find it, she could keep it. I also found this picture. That's Francis's father. Hey, Sheriff that's Merrill the other half Humber. of the locket. There's something written on the back. Stairs to cellar. Oh, wow. That's Francis's handwriting. Looks like the other half of the message got torn off. I was hoping that the treasure might be under the stairs in here, but no such luck. I didn't know this place had a cellar. As far as I know, no one does. The entrance is secret. secret. These stairs lead to a secret door behind the bookcase in the den. Oh, I got logged out of Twitch. Guess I had to change my password. One second. What do the Raleigh's think about all this? The Raleigh's don't know. I was afraid <laughs> that if I told them they'd the Raleigh's see don't my brother's know. dead broke. No job, health's bad. I was thinking if I could just find the treasure. I understand, but now I'm in kind of an awkward position. I know, and I'll tell them, I swear, soon as they come back. They got enough on their minds right now. I'm gonna do a little test of the audio real quick. I have to mute my mic. Uh, let's see. What, what about, about all, all the accidents? accidents that have been happening around? What about all the accidents? Lately? I don't know anything about that horse or any of the other stuff that's been going on around here. I swear. Now, if you'll pardon me, I need to tend to my chores. No, wait. You don't have to leave. Okay, audio sounds good. No way, you don't have to leave. Something's missing. Oh wow, she actually took it. Nancy, he was Ask. down here? Wonder what somebody's been using that for. Oh shit. He's been down here, and that's one thing, but you're taking stuff from down here. How are you, like, not as much in the wrong? Where does this go? Looks like I'm back in the den. Whoa. 
I don't want to go back in the den. Excuse me. So, it says beneath green bottle under stairs to cellar. Or is, is it the cellar? Like, is it these stairs? It's only giving me a go up command. Is it the other one? Maybe the message on the pictures refers not to the stairs to the den, but to oh. these stairs. See, Nancy knows. Check that out. Hey, yo. Oh, it's this fucking... It's a pull it out type of thing. What is this? FH? Where do I need to take it? Oh, wow. Where, what am I trying to do with it? <laughs> uh, that, do that, do that. I already messed up, I feel like. Do that. Usually they'll tell you a specific spot that you're trying to get to. But I do not see such a spot. Wow, 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 wow. No, that's right. Was that it? Was there's something inside. Oh, wow. I am glad that you are getting oh. your picture painted we wearing go. your favorite shawl. It will be a beautiful painting because you look beautiful in that shawl. I forget the name of the stitch you used to make it, but I think it is amazing that you learned how to knit a whole shawl just by reading one book. I wish I could put my mind to things like you can. I am also glad that you like the handbag that I got you. I knew it would become your favorite on account of the pretty picture the beads make. I want to know all the things that you like so that I can make sure you always have them. I figure that way you will always want me around. Meet me on Friday at noon by the Big Picture Rock. I love you, Dirk. Big Picture... Oh, wait, no. I think Big Picture Rock is just what we did to do the pictographs or whatever. Remember when we were in Cappy's eating the crackers he orders special from California and you said that from then on the crackers would be your favorite because they would always remind you of me? Well I met a trader yesterday who had a whole wagon full of them and I bought you four tins. I also oh, wow. bought a rock from him because this rock has been polished to show a picture that looks just like the landscape by one of our meeting places. He called it an agate and said that the picture was made by nature but it looks so real I can hardly believe it. I am thinking of a way to surprise you with it because it is as special as you are. An I will agate. meet you Tuesday at 3 by the Three Arm Cactus. Your father has people watching for me all over the county. I guess you got some of your smartness from him. Three I love you, Dirk. Cactus. I love you, Dirk. I still don't know how you got a whole cake out to our last meeting place like you did, but it was the best thing I ever ate. And the prettiest, too. He what seems sweet. What can I say? He it. seems now sweet I and think thoughtful. Is the best cake recipe in the world, too. But nothing is as good as getting a letter from you. Whenever I see a flower like the one on your favorite letter paper, I think of you. Oh. I only steal from people who have plenty of money to begin with and deserve to be robbed. But if I could start over, I would forget about them and be a rancher or a farmer or miner or shopkeeper or whatever you wanted me to be, just so we could always be together. Be at Charlie's grave at sunset this Thursday. I love you, Dirk. Um, but nothing as good as getting a letter from you whenever I see a flower like the one on your favorite letter paper. On your favorites. He did say on your favorites. Letter. Paper. Flower? Is that what we should type, I guess? Or make note of? Does she have any letter paper around here? 
She never wrote any letters. I don't think we found any letters from her yet. So is Dave back over here? He Hello, is. Nancy. Guess I'm gonna be blushing every time I see you now. Guess I'm gonna be blushing. Dave is sweet too. Who cares? He's very nice, man. Don't worry about it. I've been known to do a few sneaky type things from time to time myself. Actually, I'm kind of glad you came by. Something I need you to do for me, if you wouldn't mind. You bet. This chicken coop's been a thorn in my side ever you since bet. I got here. The wire I need to fix the hole in the fence was supposed to be delivered today. But it's not here yet, and the Raleigh's just called and asked me to run an errand for them tonight. Oh, so if wow. you could keep an eye out for that chicken wire and patch that hole as soon as it gets here, the chickens and I'd really appreciate it. Are you going to tell me how to patch it? It's just common sense. You'll manage. <laughs> just be sure to wear gloves. I'll leave my pliers out. If you have to do it at night, that's okay. There should be plenty of moonlight. You'll be able to see fine. Oh, just wow. make sure it gets done. Because if it doesn't, the coyotes are going to have themselves one heck the of a coyotes. banquet. And you're going to be in a lot of hot water. No, no problem. problem. Now, is there something I can do for you? May I see that letter you said Francis Humber wrote to your great Oh, that's how we sure, get the right letter here. paper. When I heard you were a detective, I started keeping it on me. Thought you might snoop through my stuff or something. Thanks for letting me see it. Dearest Cousin Ellie, my beloved Dirk is no more. I shall never see him again. And now you will never I don't see know me what flower again, that is. for I am on my way east, there to spend the rest of my life. I will never return to the territory of Arizona, not even when my father, whom I despise with every part of my being, has left this earth. But know this, sweet Ellie. Dirk told me that he had hidden something of great value, and that when all was in place, he would start me in pursuit of it. He was forever inventing fanciful ways to tax my brain, and was quite clever himself. Then, thanks to my father, he was arrested. Perhaps. perhaps he wrote me from jail, and his note was lost. Or perhaps he grew to hate me. Oh, wow. But he never told this me how sad. to find what he had hidden, and I am too heartsick to care. If you can somehow find it, it's yours, my dear young cousin. Know, too, that I miss you terribly, and always, I want to have a chocolate. Will. How about that? Francis. A little Valentine yes. chocolate. Enclosed is a picture of the vilest man ever born. <laughs> and was quite clever himself. So is that just on our character now? Like, can we look at that whenever we need to? I got some Dunkin' chocolates. They're like little fudge filled things. I'll show you, but. Where was the jail that Dirk Valentine stayed in after he was arrested? Do you have any idea? Probably the one over in Dry Creek. It's a ghost town now. Oh, Dry Creek. But the jailhouse and a couple other old buildings are still standing. At least they were last I saw. Could you tell me how to get there? On your way to Mary Yazzie's, look for the trail on your left that heads towards Shadow Mountain and stay on it till you get there. It's about an hour and a half's ride. This got something to do with the treasure? I doubt it. Well, let me know if you need anything else. I'll let you get back to work. Appreciate it. An hour and a half? An hour and a half on horseback is kind of crazy. I personally don't believe I could do that. Need something? May I go riding again? Yep. Talk to you later. If you last that long. I guess we might as well just go to damn dry creek. Hey, Bob. So Bob. Oh, also that flower. Is it Is it that flower that she likes? Agates, common knitting stitches, Harrison Yellow? No, it's not Harrison Yellow. Mm -hmm. Semi precious gemstones. 
100 million years ago when gas bubbles, gas bubbles became trapped in lava flows that cooled and hardened around them. Over time, groundwater filled these bubbles with the solution of dissolved silica, as well as solution of oxides. Yeah, that's what we learned about. Agates are beautiful, man. And Nancy got that web on her phone. Oh. Come on, Bob. Good boy. They already had that in 2004. It's kind of crazy. I hope we don't get him in trouble for taking Bob so far away. Well, I guess the other places are just as far. And we don't get in trouble for that, so. I think we'll be fine. Mm. Let's see. Oh, wow. Probably just a bird. We're here at good old Dry Creek. Dry Creek General Store. Outhouse. <gasps> oh, why did that actually scare me a little bit? Hey, bud. I assume I'll definitely get stung if I try and do something with that. Oh, I got a crank. What is that? A pressure cooker? Popcorn maker? <laughs> Nancy about to whip up some popcorn out here. She's like, God, I could really use a a filling uh, low calorie snack. We gotta figure out what those symbols mean. For being a ghost town, this is um. It's locked. So much for finding out what Dirk left in the cell for Francis. Considering this is like a ghost town building, this is still very well kept. Yikes! The walls in there look like they could fall down any second. Yeah, girly pop. So how are we gonna get the how are we gonna get the key? Nancy becomes a locksmith. Hey, Cappies. Oh wow. Does it rain often in Arizona? Am I showing my stupidity by asking that? It is a genuine question though. Condemned by order of the sheriff. There's a lot number on it. Is that everything? Oh wow, they just have the hanging. Did y'all see that? Sorry, I had to check it on my phone. That's wild. I didn't know that it actually, like, there was something that moved. There's more symbols. And another arrowhead. Let's go. Yeah, they just got the gallows out on display. Another symbol. What are with these symbols? Where do we find out what the symbols mean? No signal, no access, old email only. Okay. Okay, well I guess we'll, we'll just get out of here then. Come on, Bob. It's an hour and a half drive. I can't take the drive. It's an hour and a half uh, walk. I can't take you anywhere else. I guess I could have stopped at Mary Yazzie's to see. That looks like Mary Yazzie and Tex? Oh, wow. She's back at it again. On our property for what? Just take it, Nancy. Thank you. Is he gone? <gasps> He's gone. We can poke and prod. No, he can't actually. <laughs> That's exactly what we're not gonna do. But 
frog. The frog of the hoof. Okay, we need to call the sheriff and ask can we go into Cappy's. Uh, Hernandez. Dry Hello, Sheriff. Creek. It's Nancy Drew again. Hello, Nancy. What can I do for you? I noticed that you put a lock on one of the buildings in the ghost town. Yeah, the support beams in there are about to go. I was afraid some dumb tourist would knock into one of them and bring the thing down, and I'd wind up having to dig them out. If I'm real careful, do you think I could have the combination? It's just an old shack. There's nothing to see in there. I'm just curious. Amateur detective, remember? I'll lock the place back up when I'm done. Well... You swear you'll be careful. I'll be extremely Nine, two, careful. Seven, I promise. Four. Let's see. Where did I put that combination? Ah, here we go. Nine, two, seven, four. Thanks for your help. Just doing my job. Chicken wires still ain't here. Can Bob take another ride back? Has this been too much? Oh, hey Tex. Need something? Did I see you and Mary Yazi Let's just get straight together? to the point, I guess. Me and Mary Yazi? Of course not. Why? Well, ain't said more than ten words to her since I got here. You're imagining things. May I go riding again? Yep. Talk to you later. No hurry. No hurry. I'm Tex. I'm real cool. Hi, Bob. We gotta get you back out. Oh. Come on, Bob. <laughs> Scram. Let's get out of here. Let's talk to Mary. And be like, what are you doing with Tex? She's gonna be like, what do you mean? I'm not doing anything with Tex. And I'll be like, but, but, but. And then she's gonna gaslight us. Watch. Hi, can I help you with something? Oh, wow. Nancy's smart about it. Tex told me about, you know, you and him. He did? Uh, I know there's no wrong answer, but it feels like I need to pick the right one. Yeah, I kind of tricked him into telling me. I'd like to hear your side of the story now. I'd like to hear your side of the story now. My side's no different from his side. We're in love. What's the big deal? <laughs> Let's just reveal it. You're what? Wait a minute. He didn't tell you anything, did he? You tricked me. Oh, you're good. You are good. Is that what you were doing on the ranch? That's when I saw their you fallback. Text? Yes. See, we Tex hissing. knows the Raleigh's and I have been arguing about that property I want to buy. He's afraid if the Raleigh's find out about us, they'll think he's collaborating with the enemy and fire him. Do they really see you that much as an enemy? The Raleigh's wouldn't do that. I think the real reason Tex wants to keep it a secret is because he's got this rough, tough loner thing going. I think the idea of changing his image scares him. <laughs> that could also be very true. So how did you get past his rough, tough loner thing? I didn't. He got past mine. Anyway, <laughs> Tex and I are in love. We tried to keep it a secret, and we blew it. So sweet. You know, for a city slicker, you got a lot of country smarts. Like what? Riding back to Shadow Ranch and seeing you? Like... Do you know anything about the treasure Dirk Valentine supposedly buried somewhere around Shadow Ranch? I know it's a lot of hogwash. Ugh. What makes you so sure? If I had a dollar for every lost mine or buried treasure story I've heard in the 30 odd years I've lived here, I'd have 10 horses, 2 cars, and possibly my own helicopter. It's nothing but a tall tale. Trust me. That's a lot of stuff. Why are you so interested in buying that property from the Raleigh's? There's a whole bunch of petrified wood on it. Tex discovered it. Every so often, he'll bring some pieces in, and I'll use it in my jewelry or try to sell it. It was great talking to you. Ride safely. Ride safely. 
she's still pretty nice to us even though we are not the nicest to her. Ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba. Wouldn't she have the beads for this? Something's missing. So that's a piece from 1881. That's kind of wild. It's in such amazing condition. Let's go to Dry Creek. <laughs> New Spain Mesa. Bag at Gabby's nine two seven four nine two seven four. Oh wow. Oh wow. The the complete electrician's uh, reference manual and guide. An electrician's manual. Oh well, I guess I could have just clicked on doing it. Here. Justin sits up when he turns into the ghost town part. Uh, crackers. Hey, that's the crackers that she ate at Cappy's. That he bought four tins of. Make the meanest, roughest, and toughest gang in the West and win. Interesting. Something goes here. Oh. A coin. Bonita, bonita. Oh, wait. Why not do that? Stupid. Was that winning? Was that us winning? Is it like poker? Like, do we hold? He seems pretty bad. Yeah, these three seem pretty bad. Ah. Come on, Sue. Sweet Sue. Is there a way that you can like mess Interesting. Up? The meanest, roughest, and toughest gang in the Western Wind. These all look pretty tough and rough and uh, mean. Black Bart. Tomahawk Tom. What? Can I do? I want to keep them. Can I do them all? Was that winning? Holy, am I stupid? Surely that's not winning. Okay, no, no, no. Skyrocket seems pretty bad. No, we lost. Hmm, interesting. I don't want to have to do the Roadrunner game again. There we go. That's that's it. El Diablo. Are the bad people's names down here? Cause Skyrocket's name is down here. Right. Damn. Gentle chain. No. <gasps> Oh no, I gotta do the stupid thing again. I don't wanna have to do the stupid thing again. Hmm. I don't wanna have to do the stupid road runner game again. Looks like someone's been hanging out in here. Oh wow. Got toothpaste. Better than me. That's a joke. That's a joke. Cool. Looks like I need to put in a password. Do I have anything for this? 
on my notes. Pappy at Cappy's. What does it say? What does that thing say? Beneath Cappy's key, Pappy's name, please. Beneath Cappy's key. Like a like a piano key. Yeah, it's down here. So is it cashmere? I mean, we put cashmere in. Oh lord, it's a chess puzzle. Is this considered a chess puzzle? I feel like it is. Cash. These you kind of just gotta click till you get it. There, I said it. Okay, you just gotta click until you get it. That sucks. Hold on. If we get the A back there, change that to H. That's cash. I just skip past it because I'm sitting here blabbering. Cash. And then that ruins everything. Ah, oh, it just ruined everything. Mirror. Oh, that changes everything too. Is there an R here? Is it cashmere? Everything's fitting. Did I spell it right? Yeah, M-E-R-E. Is there no R? Oh, is it not cashmere? Cashmere. Had to beg Sheriff Fernandez for permission? I don't know if you really beg, Nancy. The secret of the broken to the place, copy with make the perfect hideout. Should get a combination, take a really good look around there. Wrote her letter had a big lily in the border, so that was a lily. Where do I have that wrote down? Letter paper flower equals lily. Apparently Francis used to decorate. How far back is it? Uh, the Pappy Cashmere is, uh, is M, I spelt it wrong. They spelt it like that though, did they not? Is this game gaslighting me? I swear in the uh, thing they spelt it different. Cashmere. What does that change? Okay, and then that changes that. That changes that. Okay. Uh, 
M C S and then H. Damn it. Oh, wait. No. Am I so, am I stupid? Am I dumb? Why do I keep doing that? Cash. Okay. S is right before, and then S is right before. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Then we just go back to C and then H. Jesus, that took me way too long. Take your forks and a crank to the BDI's ranch and make sure you see what's below. When you stick the forks in and give it a spin, off toward my treasure you'll go. Okay. <laughs> Beady eyes, ranch, forks and a crank, forks and a crank. When you stick the forks in and give it a spin off towards my treasure, you'll go. Interesting. Okay. Is that all we gotta do here? We got the crank. I am getting a Ugh. definite feeling I'm not alone. Y'all see it in the window? Scary. Ooh, so scary. Uh, I don't need it. Uh, might as well talk to her for all the way. Some questions Hi, for can you. I help you with something? Have you by any chance ever come across any silverware that may have belonged to Dirk Valentine's girlfriend, Francis? Silverware? I found a letter that referred to Francis Humber's forks. Do you have any idea what that means? Maybe, the Maybe she had forks? a thing for forks. I went out with a guy once who was into spoons. Did he know how to play them? He dangled them. We sat down in a restaurant. And the next thing I knew, he had spoons hanging from every part of his face. Like I said, I went out with him once. It was great talking to you. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you for that, Mary. I appreciate that. Tuning forks. Maybe Dirk meant tuning forks. Hi, can I help you with something? I noticed some tuning forks over there. Would it be okay if I borrowed them Would for a okay while? If I Tell you what, it? if you go out and find me 10 arrowheads for this display oh, wow. I'm working on, okay. I'll give them to you for free. You can put them in this. How many do we have? You got a deal. There are arrowheads all over this area. You just have to keep your eyes open. You should be able to find 10 in no time. As long as you don't dig and only collect arrowheads that the rain and wind have uncovered. You won't be breaking any rules. It was great talking to you. There's Catch rules. Catch you later. So I got five. And I thought I've picked up a lot at this point. Is there any out here? No. We can't take Bob anywhere else right now. He's tired. He needs EP and water. Oh my lord, I'm just 
just take the thing off, Nancy. Thank you. Hmm. I think something goes here. Need something? Talk to you later. If you last that long. I do think I found all the arrowheads here, though. At the ranch. Don't believe there's any more. Miss Nancy, how may I be of service? What do you know about the treasure that Dirk Valentine supposedly She's hid really around laying here for Francis Humber to find? If I thought there was a snowball's chance in Tampa that Valentine had stashed any of his loot here, I'd be tearing this place apart. Why? What do you know about it? Nothing really, but what makes you so sure he didn't stash any of his loot here? When I heard that rumor, I'm gonna I started be a rude reading everything about Dirk Valentine I could get my hands on. But the more I read, the really more good. it sounded like he suckered Francis into believing he'd hidden something for her, just to give people something to talk about when he was gone. Well, I'd better get going. Drop by any time. streamer with bad manners who would have thought I like the spice cake okay it's really good hey guys spice cake review <laughs> hold on <laughs> we're gonna do it let's really do it hey guys wait if we're gonna do it let's really do it hey guys spice cake review it's gotten a bite taken out of it it's really good. It's really good. Sorry, this shit isn't funny. I'm like frantically trying to get my face out of this, this Miss Nancy, fucking screen. How may I be of service? Well, I'd better get going. Pleasure talking to you. <laughs> Hello, Nancy. Something I can do for you? It seems that Mary Yazzie and Tex have a thing Nancy's for each other. Nancy's just gossiping Tex at this point. And Mary Yazzie? You gotta be kidding me. They're keeping it hush hush because Tex is afraid the Raleigh's might not approve. Can't see why the Raleigh's would care. This Unless, of I'm course, saying. they dislike her as much as she seems to dislike them. And even then. I can't see where it'd be any of their business. I completely <laughs> agree. Uh, you got a steady back home? Whoa, is he flirting with us? Hey. <laughs> is he flirting? Um. Steady? You mean boyfriend? Uh, well, sort of. What about you? Do you have a girlfriend? <laughs> Never mind. I'm sorry. No, I Nancy, shouldn't ask. have a boyfriend. Forget I said anything. So, what else can I do for you? That's so sweet. There's not a lot of characters that find Nancy attractive. That's really cute, actually. I'll let you get back to work. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Oh, poor dude. I think he's pretty cordial. There, I said it. I know. Very out there take, but... The heart wants what it want, what want, what want, what want, what want, what want. May I go riding again, or is Bob Need too something? sweaty? May I go riding again? Yep. Talk to you later. No hurry. Bottle cracking ASMR. Hold on, this is a big process. Let me just go ahead and get it out of the way. Bump, 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 bump. Oh. Come on, Bob. Uh, 
Whoops. Okay, well, there's that one that's at Dry Creek that I gotta figure out how to get it, but. <laughs> that peaked my microphone so bad. I'm so sorry. Did you guys get the residual ASMR? I was behind the microphone, so probably not. Hey! Cursor literally just landed on one. Six. We need three more other than that one at Dry Creek. Okay. Only three more to go. Two more. I don't know how I'm gonna get it from the scorpion. Hmm. Yes, 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 yes. I know. There's a donkey that lives there. Is Ghost Runner any fun? I have that in my library, and I don't know if it's any good. She's gonna scream, listen. <gasps> no, she's not. Wow. Well. Better not leave old Bob behind. I know that's right. Oh, wow. <gasps> Should we lift it? Let's lift it. Woo! <laughs> Oh, wow. So what do I do about that? There's like a cellar thing right there. I just need to come back at a later time. Check out the spinning. Woo. 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 Bob's like, what is she doing? It's I think I'll let Bob do the walking. Bob's like, it's hot. <laughs> it's hot out here, Nancy. Stop spinning. What what do we do about rattlesnakes? How do we get rid of them? <laughs> Took my lasso out. Oh, no signal. Um, let's see what, if any's at Cougar Bend really quick. I have the feeling it has something to do with the cellar. Lives. Uh, why do I keep doing that? <laughs> I think we've already got them. Got all the ones from here. There's probably another one in Dry Creek that I didn't see. Investigating. Investigating. I just saw a hand. Oh, for Bob. Now you go. I don't know. There's a 3D thing right here. Spin around. Would you guys be interested in seeing any of uh, the Nonary games? I bought that a while ago. Zero Escape, the Nonary games. And I just never played it. I'm thinking I might do it for stream. Stream or um, a video of some sort or something. I don't know. Mary's gifts. Dang all back a shot of ranch, man. Dang all yeehaw, yeehaw. Would Bob get mad at us if we left the saddle on him? Okay, so there's a uh, one at Dry Creek. And I don't know where the last arrowhead is. Let's see, rattlesnakes. Out of the 17 types of rattlesnakes that call Arizona home, the Western Diamondback is the most common. It gets its name from its brown and tan diamond-shaped markings on its back, and adults are commonly four to five feet long. 
Jesus. It has a flat, triangular shaped head, long tubular retractable fangs, oval eye pupils, a thin neck, a thick powerful body, and a white tail with black rings at the end, which is usually, although not always, a rattle. They're excellent swimmers. Oh, uh, that's terrifying. Mm, tend to remain in the shade. Feed on smaller mammals. Eat every two to three weeks. So it's starting on a coil. And usually, though, unfortunately, not always. Shake this right in the morning. Just kind of rough. Maybe leave it alone and leave the area immediately. Chances are when you return, the snake will be gone. Most people are bitten when they choose to deter, disturb or attempt to handle rattlesnakes. You should not apply a tourniquet. Cut the bite sight. Try and suck out the venom. Isn't that like not a thing anymore? You're not supposed to suck venom out, are you? Or should you apply ice to the sight for immerse the bite in a bucket of water and so remain calm while she bite? Keep the bitten area still and lower than the heart and go immediately to the nearest hospital. Trying to capture or kill the snake, contrary to my belief, it is not necessary to know exactly what type of snake you're bitten by in order to receive effective medicine. I don't know if we should be listening to that. I think that's a little bit of a 2004 propaganda. It could be wrong. I don't think you're supposed to suck the venom out. Let's see. What about scorpions? Nope. Not that. Scorpions, please. Scorpions. Lord Jesus, please. Scorpions. Sting cause discomfort and even death in humans. Like spiders, a scorpion has pelopalps. Pedipalps. Jesus Christ. A pincer like, resembling tiny lobster claws. Abdomen consists of 12 segments, the last five of which form its tail. Mmm. Nocturnal, nocturnal hunters, several species found in Japan, Japan, Arizona. <laughs> I don't know where Japan came from. Is dragged to water. Sorry guys, I'm just trying to see if there's like a uh, something that we can do to get rid of them. Anti venom. Is that spelled wrong? Anti venom. Hmm. I guess we'll just take Bob back out. Make them all hot and sweaty. I don't know why I'm so worried about that. I wonder if it even matters how much you ride. Come on, Bob. Probably doesn't. <laughs> I don't even know where to go. Um, we'll go back to Dry Creek, I guess. See if the scorpion is still there. He knows I need that arrowhead. any more arrowheads that I'm missing? No. No. Oh yeah, he's gone now. Q. Can the last one please be here? And I just didn't notice it. I'd really not do, I, I, I'd rather not spend the next 30 minutes trying to figure out where an arrowhead is.
That's a harmonica, right? Somebody is shredding a harmonica right now. Oh, that's right. Tex is just over here sleeping in the corner. <laughs> N Nancy. I'm like, uh, Tex, do you have a home? And he's like, Nancy, Cappy's is home. Where is, uh, where is this thing? Where is it? Where's Arrowhead? Glad that there is more scribbles everywhere. But an arrowhead is what I am in the market for right now. That's crazy, man. I genuinely feel like I've looked pretty much everywhere I could, you know? And there's like no looking down here. Is a snake gone? Better not leave old Bob behind. Yes, Nancy, please don't yell at me. Your voice really makes my heart drop sometimes. I guess I'll just have to come back another day to open that. that dude ain't joking around. Also, that's an electric guitar, right? Heck, why walk when I can ride? Nancy. Heck, why walk when I can ride? You know what we're doing, Nancy. Why do you test me so? Wait, what's this? Why does it let me turn up? Oh. That's why. Okay, I know it's gonna second chance me. I just wanna see if I miss the arrowhead. I feel better. Damn, that rattlesnake ain't no joke. We can hear him like a mile away. I hate snakes. I don't hate them. I have a lot of nightmares about snakes. They're pretty, but... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, it's one more. We just need one fucking more. Is it in the cellar? Did I miss it in the good old cellar? For the sink. Looks like the pipe oh. was pretty badly corroded. <gasps> no, it wasn't. Hey, hey! Ten arrowheads. I'm all done. Let's go. Huge surprise. Um, is that corroded or was there acid used on it? Who knows? I need to get a, a macro so that when I raise my eyebrows, it goes to face cam full. I'm sitting here trying to think of like the easiest way to do that. I wish I had, um, I need a stream deck. Come on, Bob. That would be pretty nice to have. 
<laughs> Even though everything that you could do with a stream deck, you could just do it with your number of pads over here, technically, I guess. Alright. Mary, we have your arrowheads. Got those arrowheads yet? Yes, I have ma ten arrowheads right here. So you do. It looks like I only need nine to finish this display. So here, keep this arrowhead. Thanks for your help, Nancy. Those tuning forks are all yours. It was great talking to you. Do we get Thanks the cool for blue by. one? Oh, no, we don't. All arrowheads are equal. Nice. Uh, what did he say do with the, the forks? Oh, forks and a crank to BDI's ranch. BDI's. Well, now I don't really know what that is. Mm. BDI's ranch. Good boy. Come on, Bob. Oh, no, 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 no. I wish I could take one of the other horses. Just kidding. Bob is perfect the way he is. Tex would have a cow if I rode bareback. Need something? Talk to you later. No hurry. You know anything about BDI's ranch, brother? How about you, Dave? Hello, Nancy. Something I can do for you? I'll let you get back to work. Appreciate it. Okay, let's make some phone calls. <laughs> We're sorry. Your call cannot be completed. <laughs> so stupid. Okay. Beth. Beth, can you help us? Hello? It's me. Please. So what's going on there? Nothing new, girl. Nothing new at all. Oh, wow. I found an old beaded handbag that may have belonged to Francis Humber. Was there anything in it? No, but if it's the bag that Dirk mentioned in one of his love letters, it could hold some sort of clue. What does it look like? Well, there's a bird on it, but the beads have completely fallen off this one section. However, it does have the name of the manufacturer at the bottom. It was made by the Chicago Mercantile Company back in 1881. Oh, That's wait. one of the companies in my book. I was about to Is say. there anything else on it? Yeah, some kind of number. HB3941. Maybe that's what bead pattern it is. There's a bunch of phone numbers in this book. Maybe we can track down the pattern for you. That'd be great. Like I said, it could be pretty important. Especially if the part that's missing turns out to have something to do with flowers. We'll get right on it. I found a green bottle with a bunch of love letters from Dirk to Francis inside. Love letters? I love love letters. Was there anything in them about the loot he'd stashed for her? Love no, letters. but there are references to some of her favorite things. And since the letter that Dirk wrote to her from jail mentions that her favorite flowers will help her find the treasure. They might help you figure out what they are. We're stuck here while you get to read love letters? I know that's okay, right. Okay, George, yep. we're suing the airline, both airports, and the weather service. Have I told you about the cowboys that work for the Raleigh's? No, and believe me, I've been meaning to ask. Well, Dave Gregory, he's the foreman, and he's very cute, Bess. Wouldn't you know it? Anyway, I caught him secretly digging around in the cellar. He knows about Dirk Valentine's treasure, too. What about the this other is the red herring Text section Britain, of the game, the Wrangler, where they try the to explain, like, when they lived in Phoenix. At first, who he all could it. be then the he finally admitted culprit it, he for said some he reason. Lied because he knew the truth makes him look bad. Yeah, it makes him look like he's been sabotaging stuff at the ranch to help his sister get back at Aunt Bet and Uncle Ed. He says that's not true, that he doesn't even blame the Raleigh's for firing her. Words are cheap, Nan. Keep an eye Words on are cheap, Nan. Any hint as to what that riddle I found in the piano means? Well, you've got the tuning Words forks in the crank. Are... 
Now all you Shoot. have to do is figure out where the B.I.'s ranch is. Take a brand new look at the situation, Nancy. That's all you need to do. All you have to do is figure out where the BDI's ranch is. Take a brand new look at the situation, Nancy. That's it for now. Have fun. Wish you were here. Kidding. Take a brand new look at the situation? What do you mean by that? Charlene of Purcell's office. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. Say no more. Hey, this Hello is Nancy, Nancy. Crew. What's the latest? Oh. Would you happen to know the brand even name the of Packers back crisp. in the 1880s whose slogan was Even the Crumbs Are Crisp? Not offhand, but I certainly can find out. Details like that are why so many of my books have won awards for historical accuracy. Have you read any of my books? Uh, no. But Aunt Bet has. She's a big fan. She's a I big fan. I realize that my novels aren't everyone's cup of tea. But it wouldn't hurt to at least give them a try, would it? No. In fact, I'll pick one up first chance I get. And I'll send you the name of those crackers first chance I get. <laughs> Talk to you soon. Look forward to Thank it. you, Charlena. Hmm. Say hi to the sheriff, I guess. See if he knows about BDI's ranch. Hernandez. Hello, Sheriff. It's Nancy Drew again. Hello, Nancy. What can I do for you? Do you go out to the ghost town very much? Out to Dry Creek? I haven't been there in ages. Why? I get the feeling someone's hiding out there. Hiding out? Like a band of desperados or something? Or something, yes. Well, next time I have some time to kill, I'll drive up there and check things out. How'd that be? Thanks for your A help. Band of Just doing my job. Shorty, do you have something for us? Miss Nancy, how nope. may I be of service? Well, I'd better get going. Drop by any time. Beady Eyes Ranch. What does that mean? Beady Eyes. I'm I'm positive there's nothing in here. I don't even know why I'm looking honestly. I just feel like I need to. Buzz and George are gonna see if they can track down the pattern number. Explore the ghost town, confront several suspects, encounter a rattlesnake, and bake and cross it a cake. I'll head back to the ranch and get some well deserved rest. There's a secret door down the bookcase in the den. Escaping the facade of the compass. Yes, 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 yes. I don't know, man. Um, even she said it was time to roast. Let's see what the news has on. Phoenix and surrounding areas will be hot. Phoenix and surrounding areas will be. Dude, um, BDI is around. Need something? May I go riding again? Yep. Talk to you later. No hurry. I think I'm kind of stuck on BDI's ranch and I don't need to be. It'll come to me. I mean, is it just a ghost town? There's so many BDI's there. Come on, Bob. <laughs> We have a crank and a tuning fork. Yeah. 
Guys, ranch. I don't even know anymore, man. So I just hit a tuning fork in here. Put the crank. It's locked. <laughs> so much for finding out what Dirk left in the cell for Francis. Bedia's ranch. Eat Cappy's keys, Pappy's name, please. So I've done that. I really don't know what the tuning fork is for. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, dude, I really have no idea. Just need to take a new look at the situation. What is she talking about? I have no signal out here. Do you know anything about BDI's ranch? It would be a, a great help if you did. Hi, can I help you with something? It was great talking to you. Thanks for stopping by. Okay. Do we have to... Should we play this again really quick? Just to get another... I'm pretty sure we'll need another token anyway. Unless we don't, and this is just a waste of my time. Because a waste of my time it probably definitely is. Little casual five minute interlude while I solve this. I think I remember how to do the last one. It's really just getting them uh, following you for the most part. Hmm. 
Did I mess up? I think I messed up. I, think I messed up. Last one down. Nope. I think that was right, though. Watch, I'm, I'm not going to use this coin like a single time in this run after this. Sure be nice if these were good for something. Nancy, you know where they go. Don't be so... Hmm. ...about it. I assume this is done as well, but... something else from the trunk I should put back what I took before why would we need the scissors and what did we take out of the trunk scissors for something's missing if I want something else from the trunk I should put back what I took before and I guess the other question is what would we need the sheriff's badge for you know I don't know, I guess I gotta talk to more people on the phone. I just don't wanna do it. I just don't wanna do it. Snake Canyon. Alright, let's talk to some more people on the phone. I haven't talked to the Hardys in a minute. Oh. We're sorry. Yes, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Frank and Joe, what can you tell us about BDI's Gulch? Hardy residents. Hi, Joe. Hey, what's going on? There's a real honest-to-goodness ghost town near here. No way. Have you been there? Yep. And even though I went by myself, <sighs> I'm pretty sure I Excuse wasn't alone. Me? What do you mean? I saw something that what? makes me think bank robbers from Denver may be hiding bank out there. Bank robbers from bank Denver? Robbers? That's the first time I've said that out loud. It does sound kind of nuts, doesn't it? You saw what you saw? How hot did you say it was down there? I don't know. Somewhere in the 90s, I guess. Maybe in the hundreds? 
So there you were, traipsing around a ghost town in 100 degree heat. I really don't think she was hallucinating, Joe. It was just a thought. Any hint as to what that riddle I found in the piano means? Let's see. If I were the BDI's ranch, where would I be? Maybe it would help if you tried looking at things in a brand new way. What does that mean? Maybe it would help if you tried looking at things in a brand new way. A brand new way. Catch you later. See you, partner. Ride him, cowgirl. Am I am I dumb? Am I stupid? What do they mean by that? In a brand new way. Oh. Branding. Got you. The color of gray ashes. Supplies are very valuable. So today, some livestock are freeze branded. Super pools of liquid nitrogen. Color producing cells below. Oh, wow. Okay. Brand. Are these brands? Probably not. I know there's a book of branding in here. BDI's Ranch. Or is this only about horses? And it just has the brand on it. I guess so. Take the crank and fork to BDI's ranch. Hmm. So brands represent the name of a ranch while others are initials or fanciful designs associated with specific ranchers. I wish I wrote down what the riddle said. Cause I don't even know what it says. Come on, Bob. <laughs> Forks and a crank to BDI's ranch. Is it a specific type of... Is it a specific type of brand that we're looking for? Please just open. Thank you. Take your forks and a crank to the BDI's ranch and make sure you see what's below. 
When you stick the forks in and go to spin off towards my treasure, you'll go. Take your forks and a crank to the BDI's ranch and make. Okay. To the BDI's ranch, and it has to do with. Um. Something goes here. Interesting. It has to do with branding. I guess we'll do this one, Tom. Mean Gene. Big money, big money, big money. Big money. Uh. Oh. Well, it ain't my coin. <laughs> Damn it. I can't believe I won twice in a row. I didn't even realize I won. We're gonna take Bob all over. For some reason, the women's murder club games are very interesting to me right now. I wanna see if I can maybe get my hands on one of them. My mom played it when I was younger. I was too scared to play it. Ooh, too scared, too scared. I know this isn't where I'm supposed to be. I, I, I genuinely, I just don't know what to do right now. BDI's Ranch. I know this is so loud, I'm sorry. Something. Talk to you later. If you last that long. I don't know, man. I guess we're trying to go ahead too far when I hadn't even finished the conversations. Or Hello? It's me. So what's going on there? That's it for now. Never Stay mind. in touch. That's an order. I don't know. Party oh residents. Hi, Joe. Hey, what's going on? Catch you later. Adios. Happy trails. Hi, Aunt Bet. I forgot to ask you before how Uncle Ed was doing. Well, he definitely has some kind of infection. Ooh. I'm fine. So they've got him on antibiotics. We'll be here at least two more days. Are you aware that there's a secret door behind the bookcase in the den? No. Oh, my, you really are quite the detective. How did you discover that? Well, actually, it's a long story. What do you know about Dirk Valentine? Never heard of him. Do you know a Dirk Valentine? Isn't he that outlaw guy Shorty was carrying on about the night I got bit? He's supposed to have hidden a treasure somewhere around here. This is the first I've heard about it. It could be why someone is trying to chase you off the ranch. Dirk Valentine. Sounds like a character from a Charlena Purcell novel. As it turns out, I talked to Charlena Purcell recently. Really? Charlena. About what? About Shadow Ranch, actually. And about Dirk Valentine. She's done quite a bit of research on him. He was in love with Francis Humber, you know. Oh my gosh. 
You mean Charlena Purcell is going to write a book that takes place on our ranch? She's still my palpitating heart. <laughs> and you tell her she's welcome to visit Shadow Ranch and do all the research she wants anytime she wants. Don't I get some say in this? No. I noticed a letter no. in the roll top desk from someone named Jane Nash. Oh, yes. She worked for us back in Phoenix and we still own the clothing store. Unfortunately, she turned out to be totally unreliable and we had to let her go. Her letter sounded almost threatening. Oh, she's harmless. Part of her problem was that she was all talk and no show. It was Ed's idea to hire her. She was a good salesperson. She was just not a very good person. Person. <laughs> <laughs> Has Tex ever said anything to you about her? About Jane? No, why would he? Uh, I just wondered, that's all. She had an ex-husband or two, as I recall. Very unstable emotionally. Damn. Then how can you be so Call sure she out. won't do something to get back at you? For the same reason we fired her, dear. She's too lazy. I'll be in touch. <laughs> Call us any time. Damn. Bet. What do those want? Charlena, do you have anything for me? Charlena Purcell's office. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. Say no more. Hello, Nancy. What's the latest? Alrighty. Talk to you soon. You do that. That sounds, um... Never mind, no, I don't. I was about to be like, that sounded really condescending. <laughs> but it doesn't really. Diaz Ranch. Bum, 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 ba, dum, bum. This is a really cool set piece, just to never use it. <laughs> Miss Nancy, how may I be of service? Well, I'd better get going. Pleasure talking to you. Senior mode is too hard for me. Hello, Nancy. Something I can do for you? May I see that letter Francis Humber wrote to your great aunt again? Sure. Thanks for letting me see it. Dearest cousin Ellie, my beloved Dirk is no more. I shall never see him again. And, and was quite clever himself. Then, thanks to my father, he was arrested. Perhaps he wrote me from jail and his note was lost. Or perhaps he grew to hate me. But he never told me how to find what he... I'll let you get back to work. Ma'am? 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 Is the snake gone yet? Here, let me call them one more time. Get the hint one more time just to see if it makes a little bit sense. Hello? It's me. Oh, so what's no, going no. on there? That's it for now. Have fun. Wish you were here. Kidding. Wish you were here. Kidding. A daisy stitch. I used to do a few of these stitches. I don't like knitting as much as I like crocheting. Oh. Oh. Check out Keller.lab. Sunflower crackers. Even the crumbs were crisp. 
Noble Crispy on the store, have little margarita in the West, where consumers are far more likely to buy the most staple than a snack food. Packaging easy to ship cans, sunflower crackers project an image of an all American wholesomeness that belied their minimal nutritional value. Production of the crackers ceased when the baking company burned down following the great 1906 earthquake. Why would we want to know what the. Did I write anything down about crackers? Hmm. Did I write anything down about crackers? Big picture rock, three arm cactus. Your favorites on your favorite. I should have been writing better notes. Because now it just means that I have to always go back and look at the letters to read like one little thing. Let's go. Picture painted wearing your favorite shawl, handbag, pretty picture of the beads. Gabby's eating the crackers you ordered specifically from California. Well, I met a trader yesterday. I also bought a Roth from him. Surprise view. Me Tuesday. I don't know, you got a last K, I'm getting plenty of money. We got Charlie's Grave at Sunset. Okay, so can I call them? My phone got lit up again. Oh. This one's probably gonna prove fruitless. Charlene of Purcell's office. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. Same. Uh, sorry. Hello, Nancy. What's the latest? Talk to you well, soon. Apparently nothing, Charlena. Apparently nothing. You guys. Hello? It's me. So what's going on there? A whole lot of nothing. That's it for now. Oh, and thanks for sending me that bead pattern. Thanks for giving us something to do. Bye. <sighs> yeah, the bead pattern, but I don't have any beads to fix Something's it. Something's missing. Where would I get the beads? Mariazzi? I can't believe Shorty hasn't been like, uh, Nancy, where'd you come from? You keep just running through the back of the house. Are you coming in through the front door, girl? Yeah, Shorty, we are. My phone's lit up again. Who do we need to call this time? Hardy residence. Hi, Joe. Hey, what's oh going on? Oh my lord. Catch you later. Sounds good. Give us something Bye. to talk about, please. Okay, so I need beads to fix the handbag. Come on, Bob. I have the crank and the tuning fork to go to Beady Eyes Ranch. Which has to do with cow branding, but... I read all of this and it doesn't mean anything to me. Unlike fire branding, freeze branding does not result in a, a wound, so it is considered more humane than fire branding. Two for T Ranch, Rocking H, Betty K Hart, Barlow, Lazy U, 
I don't know anymore. I don't know. Mary, do you have beads for us? We want to restore a bag. Forks and a crank at Beady Eyes Ranch. Hi, can I help you with something? Oh, I'd like nice. to recreate the beadwork that was on this bag. Only it looks like I need a lot of different beads. Beads, huh? Let me see what I can do. While I do this for you, why oh, don't wow. you finish that display for me? The one behind you. Sounds good. Sure. <gasps> Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, wow. Okay. Sort rings by color and pattern. Arrange sizes from smallest to largest, from left to right. Sort rings by color and pattern? What? Uh, okay. I do not remember this at all. I guess we'll just get the colors first. And then we'll go back through and rearrange them. By size. Oh, it tells you their size as well on the back of them. I guess I could be doing it at the same time. Okay. Small is the moon. Extra small. So it rings by color and pattern. Arrange sizes from smallest to largest, from left to right. Okay. So there's going to be three of each, and triangle, extra large, check mark, large, another triangle, like that. That's the same. Here, let's just, let's do it for the green. We'll do that. That, like that. Okay, like that. Am I missing a green? Oh, I'm an idiot. That's why these are right here. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord. Okay. <clears throat> that goes there. That goes there. And that goes there. This big triangle. Check mark. Moon. Okay, that's right. What is that? Medium. Extra large. And small. Small, medium, extra large. Okay, then those go here. The these go here. Let's go there. Okay, that's green is all sorted. Extra large, medium, medium. Butterflies, small, large, medium. Large, large, medium. Uh, extra large, 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 okay. That should be it for green, right? Small, medium, large, large, okay. So then red, small, medium, extra small, okay. Do that. I have recently been watching all of the Harry Potter movies for the first time in my life. 
they've been very um they're very fun to watch very very interesting some of it doesn't make sense to me but I like to pick on small details in movies and make fun of them. I personally don't believe it ruins the experience. I really enjoy it, but it does for other people sometimes, so I try and shut my mouth. Large, extra large, extra large, medium. Extra small, extra small, extra, extra large, extra large, medium. All right. And then let's get the pattern straight. We'll go from bottom to top with this one. Shake it up a little bit. Uh, okay. That. Am I missing one? I'm blind. Small, medium, small. That's that one, that's that one. That's that one, that's that one, that's that one. Extra small, small, medium, excuse me, small, small, medium, large, large, extra large, uh, medium, large, 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 extra small, extra large. That's right, right? Oh lord, we have to go back through and check every single one. Which one did I not do right? Arrange sizes from smallest to largest, from left to right. So smallest on the left, largest on the right. Extra small, large, extra large, 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 medium, large, large, extra, extra large. Small, small, medium. Patterns are all matching. Extra small, small, medium. Small, small, medium. Small, medium, medium. I'm scared to back out and be like, hey, can you check it for me? I don't want it to all reset. Small, medium, extra, extra large. Small, small. No, no, no. Okay, I was about to freak out again and be like, am I supposed to? But no, I don't think so. Large, large. For some reason, my brain was like, you have to arrange it. Do you have to arrange it across the entire row? No, that wouldn't make sense, because they still have to be in the same color groups. Right? Yeah, so it rings by color and pattern. Large, large, extra large, large. Extra large, extra large, extra small, extra small. Medium, extra large, extra, extra large. I think everything's right. I'm very scared. Large, large, extra, extra large. Medium, large, large, small. Medium, large, medium, medium, extra, extra large, extra, extra large, er, extra, okay. There, okay. that looks right. Thank God. 
I was starting to get very, very scared the further I went. All right, can we have the beads now, please? Hi. I finished that display for you. Any luck finding those beads? Here, try these. Thank you. Great, thanks. It was great talking to you. Ride safely. Now, here comes the next question. Am I actually going to have to do this by hand? Oh, wow, I have to read the pattern. That's crazy. I got to read the pattern. Let's just take Bob back to Shadow Ranch while we try and get this sorted out. That's hilarious, actually. I don't know how to read patterns. I don't know how to read, like, bead embroidery patterns. Well, I guess we're going to find out. do it right beside Bob so we can see him or know that he's with us okay bead pattern back up bead pattern beads required red black white yellow right down damn bead pattern red Black, white, yellow, black with red corners, black with red corners, red with pink corners. Oh wow, so cute. And black, white, yellow. Anybody here do bead patterns like this? Black with red corners. And then that's red with pink corners. So the pattern is yellow one. Yellow one. Black. Black with red corners. Repeat four times. Red, white, red, red with pink corners. That's four times. And then so in spiral. All right, let's see how bad we mess this up. Very exciting. Excuse me. So red, black, white, yellow, red with pink corners, black with red corners. Okay. Do one. Oh no. Oh no. Do this four times. Black, black with one, two, three, four, and then red, white, red, red with pink corners, red, white, red. Red with pink corners. Wet, red, white, red. Okay. Red with pink corners. Red, white, red. Red with pink corners. One more. Red. White, red. Perfect. Oh wow. Okay. That, that wasn't... flower looks kind of like a poppy. That wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. You get poppy from that? <laughs> I don't. I don't, I don't really know. Okay. What did that prove to us? 
Nothing. Need something. Talk to you later. Yahoo. Do I need to tell what's her name about that? Charnel. Chanel. What's her name? Charno. Charlena. Purcell. Hey Queen. Uh so it's a poppy, I believe. Charlena Purcell's office. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. Say no more. Hello, Nancy. What's the latest? Oh no, Talk she doesn't soon. give a Look forward to it. Looking forward to it. Bess, what do y'all have to say? <laughs> Hello? It's me. So what's going on there? That's it for now. Thanks for calling. Bye, Nan. Alright, I got nothing to say. Frank and Joe. Hardy resident. Hi, Joe. Hey, what's going on? Nothing to say. What did the bag have to do with anything? Catch you Why later. do we have to See restore you, that? Right, I'm cowgirl. Hello, Nancy. Something I can do for you? I'll let you get back to work. Appreciate it. I don't even remember where I got the bag at this point. Beautiful in it. I think you're amazing. Learn how to knit a whole shawl by reading one book. Also glad you like the handbag that I got you. I knew it would become your favorite on account of the pretty picture and the beads. Anyone? I just want me around. So are we just supposed to know that it's a poppy of some sort? When it was new, that beaded purse, I found another flower that looked kind of like a poppy on it. The crackers Francis used to eat at Cappy's with Dirk were called sunflower crackers. Handbag has poppy on it. I guess that's really all there is worth writing right now. Still gotta figure out about BDI. Miss Nancy, ranch. how may I be of service? Well, I'd better get going. Pleasure talking to you. Is there any books on branding? Didn't we find one? I feel like it was one of the first things that I read. Basic care and feeding. Feeding a horse. Food, food. A feed bag. A gallon of oats is quite different from a pound of oats and is used to properly calibrate scales when mixing grain sources. Swollen tissue. What color is that horse? Okay, well, that was useless. I need to know about branding. Okay, nothing's gonna be in there. Nothing's gonna happen to me. I will find. Let's read in this here cell. Just in case they decide to move you to the jail down in tumbleweed. Too busy there looking for what I hid. Start by using this piece of paper to mark where all the rock pictures are. That'll tell you what to do next. Your favorite flowers and the flowers on your favorites. Start keeping them in mind too. Your favorite flowers, which are Harrison yellows, and the flowers on your favorites. Which her favorite cracker was the sunflowers.
This game makes me feel so stupid. I like fixing your brain because when you're thinking real hard. And then numbers. And I have the numbers written down. And I still don't know what they mean. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. D E F G H I J K L Is it like a letter cipher? Numbers mean letters. I don't think that makes any sense if it were to be that. Uh, let me check something very quickly. Burton number burger. Number to letter converter. Type numbers separated by space. I guess we can. How bad would it be to just throw this up here? I mean, technically, Nancy would be doing this too, considering that she has a. Uh... Oh, wow, I really lost that person. Just like that. That's crazy. 9, 12, 15, 22, 5. 25, 15, 21. Oh, if that person that just left the stream was still here, they would know that it spells I love you. I love you. That's adorable. If they would have just given me a second to show them, but hey, what can you do? Check that out. Hold on. Ooh. Check that out. It says, I love you. How adorable is that? Such a nice bit of detail. Doesn't help any in what I'm doing, though. Favorite flowers and the flowers on your favorites. Miss Nancy, how may I be of service? Well, I'd better get going. Come back soon. Jesus, man, I have no idea what to do. 
Say Francis and Luke, the straw she's wearing in that painting using the daisy stitch. Why is there Tech so said to put the saddle and bridle back where I got it? Why is there so much stuff about flowers? I feel like I need to be keeping track of that too. Harrison's yellow. The daisy stitch. Harrison's yellow. Daisy. Sunflower. <laughs> Excuse me. Sunflower and poppy. Why are we getting so many names of flowers and shit though? That is the real question. Oh, and then Lily. Interesting. Oh. Well, I don't think I have anything that can go there. Beady Eyes Ranch. Is it one of these things that we've been seeing? Like, I'm really starting to like get the suspicion that it has been right in front of my eyes this entire time. Beady Eyes. Okay. I'll bet Dirk Custom made this, which means I'd better not go messing around in there. The shape of this box looks familiar. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does, Nancy. This outline reminds me of something. I know that's right, girl. Okay, wow. That took forever. Crank. B 
Speedy has ranch. Flowers on your favorites. Daisy. Poppy, Lily, Harrison's yellow, sunflower. Are we supposed to spell something? Oh. Fran. Sis. How sweet. Jesus. What broke? Now go and peek beneath Zebra Rock, and a tractor of metal what's there will unlock. <laughs> Alright, so are we collecting this? No, we're not. I'm gonna write this entire thing down. Now go and peek beneath Zebra Rock. Tractor of metal. What's there will unlock. That's probably over where that rattlesnake is. And I don't have a magnet, I don't think. Well, he's probably still there anyway, but I need to check out and see. Are you still here, Mr. Snake? Yep, you're still here. We'll find it soon. Let's go back to Shadow Ranch. That's probably all I have to do for the day, in all honesty. <laughs> Excuse me. You need an EP. Something. Talk to you later. Yahoo. Okay. Q, Q, Q. It's evening. That means good things. Oops. Dave said to wear gloves. Alrighty. Tex must have turned the horses out for the night. Excuse me. We are looking for a um Oh wow. We're looking for a magnet of some sort. That doesn't go there. Oh, okay. That doesn't go there. Is it not? That doesn't look right. Okay, Nancy. That doesn't go there. Nice. We actually got one. Okay. That doesn't look right. I love how she forces you to stop like everything that you're doing. Kind of scared me. Whatever the fuck was mewing in the background. That doesn't look right. Okay, Nancy. 
That doesn't go there. Nancy, please help me. This goes here. Okay, okay. We're on a roll. One of one. That doesn't go there. Are you sure, Nancy? It looks so good, though. Nice. This goes here. Nice. That doesn't nope. look right. We'll come back to that one. Nice. This goes here. Nice. This goes here. That looks right. Nice. There. Easy. Sorry, coyotes. No Easy. chicken dinner for you tonight. Oh my gosh. My gloves. They're glowing. Uh -oh. That powder in the ghost town. <gasps> it's him. It's the phantom horse. <laughs> Nancy just blows up. Oh, wow. The power lines going to the ranch house were either cut or were otherwise disconnected from the house. You mean you don't have electricity? We have a generator. It's pretty noisy, but it sure beats the alternative. But listen to this. When I was exploring the ghost town, I got this powdery stuff all over my gloves. And last night, when it was dark, my gloves were glowing. Glowing? Like the horse? Exactly like the horse. Maybe it glows because someone rubbed some kind of phosphorescent powder all over it. And if you found that stuff in the ghost town, that must be where he or she has been hanging out. Which is why I think I'll go back out there first chance I get. And another thing, Dave was suspiciously absent during all the excitement last night. You better be careful, Nancy. If he and whoever's out at the ghost town are working together, they may decide you're a threat. It'd sure be nice if you two were here with me. <coughs> well, the fog has finally lifted, and they say we will definitely get out of here today. What they won't say is when. It looks like I'm going to need a magnet. Any oh, hints as to fridge. where I might find one Idiot. around here? I bet if you just go to the kitchen and chill for a while, you'll find one. All you have to do is stick to it. That's it for now. Two words, Nancy. Call us. They're so cryptic. You don't have to be so cryptic. Yay. All right. It's time Nancy, to make our rounds. I figured after last night you'd be long gone. I know I would be if I were you. When the power company turned off the power, did they say when they'd be out to fix the lines? No. They had no idea when they'd be able to send somebody out here. And if that generator goes, I could be cooking in the dark for days. Weeks. Well, not weeks, because no way am I staying here that long. I'm so freaked out now, I'm not sure I can last one more day. You can't leave, Shorty. That's exactly what whoever's behind all these accidents wants. Listen to you. Cool, calm, optimistic. I'm a wreck and you're a rock. Of course, you're also dead wrong and totally deluded, but I'm still impressed. Jesus Christ, Shorty. Want me to do anything before I go riding? Same old, same old. Oh. If you bring me all the wrap stuff from the garden, I'll give you a basket okay. to fill up okay. with eggs. And once you're done with that, you'll be good to go. Well, I'd better get going. Come back soon. Well, let's hit it. That horseshoe wasn't there before. Maybe the ghost horse threw it while it was running away last night. Interesting. Let's get our vegetables. No Romanos, no old ivory eggs. A lot of northern lights. Right? Bot colored, yeah. Okay. 
Beefsteak. Golden Queen. I never write it down, but I think those are it. And then Black Turtle. It's so hot, I should get these vegetables into Shorty right away. Pick those vegetables for me yet? You betcha. Good for you. I know that's right. Now, if you just fill that egg basket for me again, we'll be all set. Well, I'd better get going. Pleasure talking to you. Cook with like the same four vegetables all the time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You can find more eggs than that. You bet I oh can. Oh, Lord. You fucking bet I can. <sighs> Got those eggs for me? Right here. Good for you. Anything I can do for you now? Could I get a canteen of water from you? You betcha. You're good to go. Well, we I go. better get going. Come back soon. Hello, Nancy. Thanks for fixing that fence. What can I do for you? I'll let you get back to work. No problem, See you Dave. Later. Anything else you need help with? Okay, we can go to Zebra Rock now. It takes. Need something? I found a horseshoe outside that wasn't there yesterday. I was thinking that maybe the phantom horse threw it. It's got a rock wedged in it. So it does. Looks like the kind of rock you'd find out by the ghost town. I've been to the ghost town, but I didn't see any horse. I'm just telling you what I know. You don't want to hear what I got to say, then quit asking me stuff. Damn. When was the last time you were there? Okay. A couple of weeks, I guess. Ain't in no hurry to go back, I can tell you that. What do you mean? Why not? Last time I was out there, my horse acted real strange. Even tried to throw me. Was like he saw something I couldn't, something he didn't like. Something that was telling him to stay away. Is it okay if I go riding? Nope. I took a bridle apart, oiled the pieces, and left them in that can on the shelf. You can't ride till you get the bridle Ugh. put back together right. I put the bit next to the can. Talk to you later. If you last that long. Okay. Okay, there's the headstone. Now, let's see. I don't know how a bridal works. Uh. Uh. I don't know. How did that go like that? How did that go like that? Will they click together if it's right? Right? There we go. Okay. That looks right. There we go. Put that right there. Nope. 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 Equestrians in the uh, chat. Bro. 
that looks right. Oh, wow. None of this really looks right, Nancy, I'll be honest. Nancy, help me out, please. I thought I'd be able to just click it together after a while. Is this like a me issue? Getting there. This goes here. I'm getting there. That looks right. Sorry that I'm doing it like this. I don't know how to put a fucking bridle together.
Damn it, man. Where is another one? I cannot see. Yeah, it looks like it just hangs from... It hangs off that thing. So if I were to just place this, that doesn't need to be off of something. This goes here. So like, could I place it now? This goes here. I can. see somebody struggle to put a bridle together for 15 minutes straight silently just staring at the computer I know I have Nancy please put me out of my misery with this I'm like getting right there here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Can that technically be up on there too? No, that doesn't stick. Wow, that's so extremely, incredibly frustrating. I just saw my refrigerator flash it's a black refrigerator made out of plastic there's nothing electronic on it that's weird liminal space for a second so fun dude sometimes puzzles in these games make you feel so Dumb. Make you feel so stupid. He's got to sit up for the the bridal puzzle. Doesn't that look like it's hanging off of like a post? Tom have been <gasps> look it's just connected to the thing oh wow yeah they're hooked at the same part they're hooked onto the same thing this like that. goes here that. that looks right and then that looks oh. right. 
Wow, I dried that. That looks right. That looks right. That's so incredibly frustrating. I tried that. I tried all of this. Perfect. That's so frustrating. That's so frustrating. That's so frustrating. Need something? I put that bridal back together. Now may I go riding? Yep. Talk to you later. Just stay out of trouble. We're starting at our three minute mark or three hour mark. I guess we can go ahead and do the zebra rod thing. Since it took us so long to do all of that. It's time to head It's time to head out to the zebra rock. Come on, Bob. <laughs> And away we go. Out to the trail stop. Out to the trail stop. Are you still here, Mr. Rattlesnake? No, you're not. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, wow. Bethel. I hope he's dropped. Oh, wow. Iron, magnesium, copper, and I don't know what else I is. But. Bro, that just spun us in a circle. What? And there's no signal out here. Oh my lord. What a strange puzzle.
is definitely a puzzle. I kind of want to go ahead and leave it here because I got to do some. I got to figure out what the colors are anyway. I don't think this is the agate that copper produces. So we will go ahead and end it here probably. Let's end it right at Zebra Rock. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you appreciated it. Sorry that I didn't get a whole lot of done uh, this time, but there was a lot more to figure out and uh, a lot more puzzles to do. So we'll leave it there for the night. I appreciate you guys so much. And uh, yeah, you can check out the VODs for this over on my channel. Um, I'm trying to figure out if I need to put all my VODs on my YouTube channel or if I should make a separate channel just for the VODs, but we'll see how that goes uh, the further we get into this. Um, but yeah, uh, that's about it for me. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.